you've got one year left. And I know you've got a season to play, and you probably don't want to think much about yeah, that. Yeah, after. Cry. Denied. Peyton Bergach halts the shot. Coach Henry said she sets the standard and carries the load, and she definitely has been carrying the load here tonight. You were obviously going into year five, so why come back? I think it was hard to say no to coming back. Bree and the coaches have done such a good job of building a new culture, one that you want to be a part of, one that you want to build a legacy for and stick around as long as you possibly can. And the group has been my family for the last four years. So I was excited to kind of step into that and to a huge leadership role as a fifth year and to kind of come back with a lot in place for like my last year. So a lot of expectations. Drop, drop! One, one, one! Yes! You're a utility player, you have some incredible stats, but also you just touch on the leadership aspect. So what does it look like to be a player that has had success on the court, but also that people are probably looking up to outside of volleyball? It's a good balance. Having to find a balance has kind of been a work in progress the last three years. But I think I'm at a really good point in my career where I can be learning in practice and working on the kind of physicality of volleyball. But once game time hits, it just kind of becomes natural to me and I can focus on being a leader, being there for people on the court, and just kind of being outside of myself. So I've found a pretty good balance, but it isn't always easy. So we hear y'all talk a lot about culture, and Bree has talked about the culture, but how would you describe the culture as a player? I think culture become, became such a big thing for Bree as she was coming from being assistant to being head coach to wanting to lay the foundation to where she could build on it for the next couple of years. And so it just became something that we're for each other on and off the court and she could push us on the court because we know how much she cares about us off the court. And that just kind of bleeding over into the rest of the staff and the, our team of like, I love you so much that I'm gonna push you on the court to be the best that you can be. And so that's built a really fun relationship between all of us, between me and this coaching staff, me and my other teammates. But I think it's hard to say that Brie hasn't worked really hard to build that kind of culture. And I think that comes with a lot of effort on both sides. Her culture is just one that envelops family and wanting to be together, win together, lose together. And that's mainly why I stayed. What will come next for you after you, know, you finish up this season? Um, the longer I've played, the more I've considered playing professionally. I think three years ago, you would have asked me if I wanted to play after this. I probably would have been like, no, I'm okay. And if it doesn't end up happening, I'll be okay with this being kind of the last run. But yeah, professional volleyball isn't, I haven't completely closed the door on it, especially with the up and coming leagues in the States and stuff. So yeah, but other than that, I want to coach. So I don't think volleyball is going away anytime soon. So what would you want to coach on the collegiate level, high yeah. school? What are you thinking? Collegiate, for sure. I love the level that I play at and I would love nothing more than to coach and kind of be in that strategic world okay this we're gonna you know show you a game clip here in a second but before we get to that in case there are tears I <laughs> want to ask you okay. I want to ask you you know you've been here for four years and how have you grown as a player you know on the court as a leader but also just as a person how do you how have you seen yourself develop over the last four years that one's a fun one to reflect on I think I I would have said that I kind of was confident my sophomore year or whatever my junior year but I've kind of enveloped and that confidence to a new level of just being who I am, learning what that looks like, not trying to be anything outside of that, being a different leader. So I've gotten really comfortable in the kind of my shoes, my role, and been more excited in about the future of Ole Miss Volleyball and the legacy that I'm leaving. So, especially being here all five years. So, yeah. Okay, we're gonna show you this game clip. <laughs> this is from your first collegiate match, I believe. This is crazy. <laughs> okay, you guys are gonna make me cry. 500, five kills, no errors on 10 attempts. Good response by Ole Miss. Burgotch with the kill. so much younger. Connor tried to get it over quickly, but Ole Miss was ready for it to get the point. Good block and a point for Ole Miss. And the freshman, Burgotch, really nice job of being up, getting there, getting the block, stuff oh. up by the freshman middle, Burgotch. I'm going to ask you. Yeah, go for it. What's your kind of reaction when you see that? Um, I'm really thankful that I've kind of had the opportunity to wear that jersey for so long. So um, it has not been the easiest five years 
to say the least, but um, I wouldn't change it. And so it's cool to kind of look back and see um, how much I've grown, how much the program has grown. Um, yeah, and I don't take that it lightly, so it's cool. Uh, I know you're emotional, but I do want to ask you because I think it's important. And obviously, as a fan and as a student athlete who's been around, what do you hope your legacy is? Because you did touch on that. So I'm just curious, what does that look like for you? And I think this like idea of legacy means a lot to Sasha and I both, just in having been here for our whole career, of just kind of leaving the legacy of, especially in this world of transfer portals and everything changing, just in building a program and that coming with being a great teammate and being there for each other and building like the culture around family rather than obviously statistics and awards that will come with, but the, the people and the relationships you build and the memories and everything will mean far more to you than the stats and the awards and stuff like that. So hopefully just that being the best teammate you can be and person and leader and stuff means a lot more than being the best player and however. Thanks guys. <laughs> 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 I'm gonna put that in there. We're not gonna be friends.